Clemson's Both teams have sent their off. special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. He just drills this one. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. He's on the run. Makes it to the 34. They'll bring him down at the 43-yard line. Even if you're pulling for the other team, you've got to just admire this guy's speed. He is special. He's knocked out of bounds around the 43-yard line. Looking for the corner. And they make the stop at the 29-yard line. to catch it. He's got nowhere to go. And he's tackled at the 15-yard line. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. From the 15-yard line, first down. Hand off, and he's met immediately. That makes it second and ten. Mike, twelve. Red Grabs a pitch, looking for the corner. He gets hit out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Good for a game of six yards. That'll bring up third and four. Release tight end incomplete. That's a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there. They need to get their signal straight. It's fourth down. This one should be makeable. Wake Forest is looking to go up by three. Kicks away, and it's good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Tigers have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week and as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you got a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. So he turns the counter into a nine-yard gain. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Call the game of six yards. That makes it first and ten. I got it. I got it. New seven. He wants it all. Great concentration to pull it in. Touchdown, Tigers. He makes the PAT. So a short three-play, 75-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot. And they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. The score now, 7-3. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He steps out at the 27. A couple of yards there. Once the wide receiver made the catch, he just kind of ran out of real estate. There was nowhere for him to go. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Brought down right around the 34. Number 11 makes the 
first half goal at the 34 yard line. That'll, That'll make it 31. He's taken down right around the 42 yard line. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Makes the grab past the marker. Tackle at the 45-yard line. Taken down around the 34 yard line. From the 34 yard line, it's first down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Quickly, and he's got his man. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. Touchdown. That's a positive for the passing game. It was absolutely the right call in that situation. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he hits the PAT. So a 10-play, 75-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. So our score, 10-7. Well, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. Brad, let's see if this offense can maintain the rhythm that they established on that last drive. Not just putting points on the board, but driving the length of the field to be able to eventually put points up. I think that's going to be important for them to try to keep that confidence going here on this drive. Smart, heady play by that defender. That was solid, fundamental pass defense. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25. They get the sack. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. He's out to the 30. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. Demon Deacons on this really taking care of business early in this football game. Yeah, somebody forgot to tell them that they're the big underdog in this game and they're supposed to lose. I love their confidence that they're playing with right now. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. Gives it to the back, and he hits him hard at the 42-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. Man left, man left. That makes it second and Wake Forest is up a field goal. And he 
was hit immediately. Zips it to the back, and down he goes, around the 36-yard line. So at the end of one quarter, the Demon Deacons lead 10-7. Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. Go. Green nine, green nine. Go. Here's a run. And they'll bring him down behind the line. On the run, right side. Nice run to the outside. Run left side. He makes it out to maybe the 29 yard line. Gain of three on the play. That'll make it second to seven. Mike 12. Mike 12. Kill, kill, kill. Big opening. He's tackled around the 18 yard line. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. Second down and 14. Ball on the 21. Wake Forest is up by three. It's broken up. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. This is the 10th play of this drive. He threw and he completes it. Touchdown, Demon Deacons. And he converts the extra point. A 10-play, 60-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. complete and he stopped immediately. He ran a good looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. made the 37-yard line. That's good for a of nine yards. That makes it first and ten. And they push him out around the 49-yard line. First step. complete the play. That is textbook pass defense. As soon as the ball hit the receiver's hands, he was all over him. From their own 49-yard line. Second down. He fights forward to around midfield. Third down. 
And he might want it all here and does. Picked off. It's the ball hawking senior. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. He tackles him for a loss. Well, that's just a good call from the defensive side of the football. They know what this team likes to run, and they got the better of them that time. Right here, right here. Mike 12. Mike 12. Green Knight, easy, easy. He's out of bounds around the 24 yard line. a bullet he's hit and taken down let's give this quarterback a lot of credit he recognized the man coverage and guys i'm going to tell you something he probably knew he was going to go to the post before the ball was even snapped well done and he makes it out to about the 41 yard line immediately tackled. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. They'll bring him down at the 28. He showed some excellent moves out there. More than you usually expect from a tight end. That was a big gain, and this offense keeps humming along. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. Number 80 was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it so it's second and 10. Ball on the 28-yard line. And they got him. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. 12's the mic. All day. All day. Get to that quickly. And they make the stop around the 27-yard line. I know the defense would have liked to have prevented such a big game, but the important thing is that they held and brought up fourth down. They're going to try a long field goal here. away it's long enough and he just drilled it from long range wake forest kick this one off and he got all of this one great kick the tigers quarterback kirk he has done his job unfortunately there's 22 guys on a team and one guy's doing a great job the other 21 aren't so much yeah it's not going uh, the way they had hoped or planned right now you're right the quarterback's doing what he needs to do to be able to move the ball but uh, the, the running backs, the wide receivers, the offensive line, the entire group, they've got to do a better job. Right now, when you look at that scoreboard, they've got to be really frustrated to think that they're down. Now, they still have time to get back in the game, and we'll see if they can adjust their mental mindset. Quarterback stats are one thing. Winning the game is what's more important. Clemson will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. 
It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Out of bounds at about the 43-yard line. Initially, it was called a catch, but now we're going to find out for sure if he at least had one foot in and possession of the ball before he went out of bounds. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. Review the play. The ruling on the field is reversed. Well, I know the receiver isn't too happy, but they got it right after the review. No catch. There's a strike complete. And he's tackled at the 31. Man, that was such a good job of reading the coverage and knowing where his receivers were. Any coach in the country would be thrilled to see that kind of composure, especially on third down. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. From the 31-yard line, it's second down. to the end zone and he went way up and he's got the interception boy just when it looked like they had a chance to get right back into this game they throw the interception now it's still early let's see if their defense can bail them out and he tackles him hard at the 19. We played a half of football. The Demon Deacons lead 20 to 7. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Lee Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Tremendous energy and execution in the first half. As a result, you get yourself a two-score lead. But you still know you don't match up with this team in a talent standpoint from an experience standpoint. So how do you guard against going into protect mode and make sure that you stay on the attack? Well, if you go into protect mode and get out of what you do best, then, then you can obviously you can get this lead back right away. I mean, just two possessions just like that. But uh, it's important that you do what you did to get you there. But it's also important to realize that this team is good and they're going to make runs. They, they might come back and tie it up. But you built a two-score cushion. You've got, you've got some slack. You've got some mulligans in your bag that you can use. So I think it's important to do what you've been doing and realize right now you're in a perfect situation. Just go out there, have fun, continue to execute, and try to continue to play that underdog role. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with the quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we always got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Fred and Kirk ready for the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's taken down at the 20. You're not going to see this very often from this running back. He just got gobbled up pretty deep in the backfield. Second and 15. Ball on their own 20. Steps out of bounds around the 23-yard line. He wants it all going long. Brought down at the 8-yard line. Number 17 brings him down at the 8-yard line. That makes it first and goal. Watch the pass. Watch the pass. Here we go. Here we go. 
He's on a run. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. Defense let the quarterback scramble in for the score. The defense had the offense beat there initially. It took a great run to get that in. And he tacks on the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And they can forget about returning this one. Well, the Tiger staff has got a winner on their hands. You've been around kids like this. They're just fun to be around. They're fun to be around, and I think it's infectious. His attitude, I think, uh, permeates throughout this entire offense and really uh, throughout the entire team. There's, it's no wonder this team is so competitive with him at the, at the front leading the way. Hand off, and he's met immediately. Did you see how that big defensive line got such a good push on that play? That's exactly why they were able to stop him for a loss from their own 23-yard line. It's second down. Wake Forest, up six. Setting up blockers, the running backs got it on the screen. Tackle at the 27-yard line. He throws left in the air. It's intercepted. And he's taken down around the 46-yard line. I just don't think he saw the defender, and he threw the ball right at him. That's what happens when you focus on one guy. You get tunnel vision. From the 46-yard line, first down. Gets it out to the wide out, and he's got the first. And down he goes around the 29 yard line. First down. Hey, alert 48. Hey, we're going to the 48 right now. Let's go. Under heavy pressure. He's tackled at the 29 yard line. No big on the play. That makes it second and 10. He gets out to about the 15-yard line. So the quarterback keeps it for two yards. That makes it second and eight. Touchdown, Tigers! The kicker on the field. He'll try to put his team up by a point. And he hits the PAT. A five-play, 46-yard drive. And a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Clemson's trailing now after building that comfortable lead in the first half, and it's just slipped away. Boy, it's ugly. And, and if you're the quarterback of this offense right now, you're looking around that huddle saying, fellas, just forget about the previous mistakes. Let's put it behind us. We've got to reestablish our offensive rhythm and try to win this game. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. That's a loss of four yards on the play. That makes it second and 14. Second down, 14 coming up here. Ball on the 21. Mike 12. Red 2. X7. Motion, motion, motion. He's out to the 30. Finds the junior. And he hits him hard to the 38 yard line.
Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. Tackle made around the 39-yard line. Number 11 brings him down to the 39-yard line. That brings up second and nine. And he's tackled right away. Some open field. He makes his way to about the 42. And now he's got room to run. He gets to about the 34 yard line. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. him down for a loss. Loss of one on the way. That'll bring up second and 11. From the 35 yard line, second down. Go, here we go, here we go. And he just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Three down, three down. Knocked out of bounds around the 31 yard line. That brings us fourth and seven. Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. Wake Forest can take the lead here with this field goal. It has the distance, and it's good. Line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Tigers couldn't get much going in the first half offensively, but they've really got it going here in the third quarter. I think this is a great example of just making the right adjustments at halftime. The staff got together, made the adjustments, and boy, this quarterback in this offense has gone out there and found their rhythm. Somebody jumped early down there. False start, offense. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see Still movement on the down. other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. So we'll have first and 15 after the penalty. 41's coming, 41's the mic. Quick throw, and they'll bring him down behind the line. And they'll lose a yard there. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. That'll make it second and long. Throws complete. He's hammered. That's a game of six on the play. That brings us third and ten. He's going to go for the home run. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. Number two, he intends on the season on the play. That'll make it fourth and ten. He really got a hold of that one. Tackle the 39-yard line. Nice yardage on the run back. The offense ready to go again. And their last drive ended with three points. Wake Forest is up two. He's out of bounds around the 41-yard line. One to go. Demon Deacons on this and front by two. Back 
back to the action here. Tight ball game in the fourth quarter. Runs outside for a nice game. Gets to around the 42. You talk about a dual threat guy, this guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. He steps out at the 32 yard line. He did not get to the first down marker. The option is all about timing, and on that play, the timing was just off. That's going to happen sometimes. It's fourth down. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. Wake Forest holds just a two-point lead. It's up, looks long enough, and he splits the uprights. like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. He fights forward to about the 26. When you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. It's third and long, and at this stage of this game, they probably have to go to the air. He goes out of bounds at about the 33-yard line. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. Not great, but not bad either. As long as your main priorities are not turning the ball over and establishing solid field position, then you're headed in the right direction. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Gets the ball here and brought down in the backfield. There was just no daylight on that play, and the defensive lineman was the reason. Well, that's one way to get involved in the game. Great stop in the backfield. From their own 27-yard line, second down. Mike 12. And two. Blue 20. Check, check. Dancer, dancer. And he just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Just under three to go in regulation. Zips it to the back. And they make the stop at the 35. That's good for a game of eight yards. That makes it fourth and four.
booming kick. He fields the punt at the 13, and down he goes at the 21. The Tigers have got to be just a little bit careful that they lean too much on a star player here in this stage of the game. Yeah, but having a quarterback that understands what this defense wants to try to do to slow this offense down is very, very important. Now he's just got to stay calm, make good decisions, and move his offense down the field. Caught, open field, and he's tackled at the 27. Number 27 brings him down at the 27-yard line. That'll make it second and four. Just throws this one away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. He throws a dart to the left. And he tackles him hard at the 44. That makes it first and 10. Just over a minute left. They'll bring him down at the 35-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. And a quick throw. He's taken down at about the 19-yard line. That last completion puts him over 300 yards passing in the game. Well, this quarterback has had a solid game. He's done what's been asked of him, and then some. But so far, it still hasn't been enough, as these guys are still losing this game. Inside the 10, Clemson will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. So here we go, first and goal, and a field goal won't cut it. They come out on an empty backfield. Touchdown, and that gives them the lead. Clemson star is shining as brightly as he ever has. It is fun to watch a quarterback do all the preparation, all the work that he needs to be able to do to put himself in a position to mentally and physically have a shot to win the game for his team. And that's exactly what we just saw. After, After review, review of the play, play the ruling, the ruling on, the on the field stands. stands. After review, they decided that the call on the field will stand. The kicker will stay on the sidelines for this extra point as the offense is going to stay on the field and try to make this a three-point game. And he's in for two. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Wake Forest's given them all they can handle today, and they're still not done. Yeah, let's remember, they were a heavy underdog coming into this game, and here they are, under three minutes to go, with the football, a chance to put a drive together, and who knows, maybe they can take the lead. Under a minute left in the game. Here we go! Fires out to his wideout. He gets hit out of bounds at the 42-yard line. First and 10. Ball on their own 42. Got it on the quick throw. Tackle at about the 37-yard line. Wake Forest is going to use their first time out of the half here. 12, Mike 12, black five, black five. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. Demon Deacons on this call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Pretty obvious passing down here as they're faced with third and long. Stays in bounds and he hauls in a big one.
Boy, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack, and somehow he's able to throw the ball away. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. He's going to air it long. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. You know, Brad, the defensive coordinator does a nice job with the coverage call here. Everybody's in position to be able to make the play. The only problem is they didn't intercept the football. That's something that uh, they got to be happy with the coverage, but not happy with the result. Well, a lot of frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. This game now lies squarely on the shoulders of this kicker. If he misses, then this game is all but over. A make, and we're looking at overtime. The kick is up, and he got it. Wake Forest to kick. He sends this one deep. And they can forget about returning this one. Late in the fourth quarter in a one possession game. And poise is what it's all about here. Who's going to have it and who won't? In the shotgun and five wideouts. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And they push him out around the 46 yard line. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He's pushed out of bounds at the 46-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He wants it all. And he got it to the sophomore. The offense didn't get the playoff in time. Delay of game, game. Offense. offense. Clemson, up six. He makes the PAT. The Tigers know that they have to enjoy this guy while they've got him because somewhere down the line he's going to be at the next level. Well, that'll definitely be in his future, but for now he needs to sit back and just enjoy this performance and, and really the play caller, the quarterback, the offensive line, the receivers, the entire group as, as, as just a whole should feel good about their performance. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.